I started running when I was eight years old and uh, I got into a few races, did very well in those races, and it just initiated a spark inside of me. And it was phenomenal. There was nothing like the feeling of working really, really hard and then performing well in a race or a competition and having that feeling of success. So I ended up spending over $100,000 US getting an engineering degree from Princeton University and my engineering job that I, that I got shortly after, I was miserable. I hated my engineering job so much and it caused so much stress and anxiety in my life that I would sit out in the parking lot and my stomach would burn. I would dread going into work so much. Because he's so happy with what he currently does that I can't imagine him being so upset and dreading going to work so, so much. But it's good he has this now because very few people find what they're so passionate about and happy to do day in, day out, and he loves it. 99% of people should get started part-time at ACN, not full-time. My belief is that going full-time from the beginning is a, a mistake. It's a mistake that I made. I had a very slow start in ACN. Most people have much faster starts than I did. And one of the things I learned in running was to never quit, never drop out of a race. And I was not gonna give up on my ACN dream. My best advice for anybody, if they really wanna do well in ACN, is to attend every single international training event in the region. In fact, in my 27th international training event, I picked up on one piece of information that doubled my business within 12 months. The greatest thing about ACN right now is when somebody walks the stage and gets their RVP pin and gets promoted and, and they break down, they get all emotional and they tell about, about how their life's gonna be now because of ACN, I and mean, that means the world to me. There are three reasons why we chose to move to Australia. The first is because very beautiful country. In fact, Noosa was the most beautiful place that we had been, and so we were struck by its beauty. The second reason, we thought Australia and Noosa in particular would be a great place to raise children. And the third is because we knew that Australia would be the gateway to Asia. And we weren't going to miss out on that with 3.8 billion people from India all the way across Japan. Both of us have always wanted to live by the beach, so when we found the land, it took a lot to make it happen. We made it happen and then we started working on the plans, but no better place in the world to have a beach house than here. One of the things that I'm most grateful for with ACN is the personal growth that, uh, that I've gone through. And I would never have been able to find somebody like Andrea and have a relationship and have a great, a great marriage if it weren't for what I learned in ACN. All the things that we want to do as a family together, he can schedule that time and take that time to be with us, whereas he doesn't have to ask permission to be off work. What I love about ACN is the freedom, not having to answer to anybody. We're able to do whatever we want to do, whenever we want to do it, and that freedom is priceless.